Hey guys, today you're going to be joining me for some nighttime speed cleaning. I'm going to be testing out new products and doing so much and hopefully giving you all of the relaxing cleaning motivation that you need. Are you gonna go night night? No. Yeah. Say night night. Good girl. Love you. So throughout this video, I'm going to be cleaning over two nights, and I know it kind of looks really light out, so maybe you're a little confused, but. Where I live in Ohio, it stays light out this time of the year until almost 10 o'clock. I know it depends on where you live in the world, but I remember last year I was cleaning at night and people were really confused because it was so light out. So it's around mid to late June. It gets it stays pretty light out until about 10 and then the hours of daylight start to go down after that but I consider cleaning at night because my kids are in bed. So I got these new pajamas off of Amazon. I'll have them linked below, um, but I also put on my cozy fuzzy slippers and got to cleaning. And I don't, I was thinking about this recently. I think I have a love hate relationship with cleaning at night. You know, I like it cause there is just something cozy about it, even in the summer it's kind of cozy to clean at night and you don't have as many distractions as you would during the day. You know, your kids aren't bugging you. Um, you're not getting as many text messages or phone calls. There's not a lot of distractions. So you can just focus on getting stuff done. But then at the same time, I'm also super tired at the end of the night. And so I found that the mindset is so important. So throughout the day, like Throughout this day, I kept reminding myself, you're going to clean after the kids go to bed. You're going to clean. And I find that if I remind myself and I prepare myself for what I have to do later on, I'm not as tired or I'm more ready to jump right in versus if I don't plan on it, um, I kind of dread it more. So I, I found that the mindset is really, really important. I have never tried a scrub mommy scrub brush or sponge before. I've tried a scrub daddy, but the scrub mommy um, has like, I guess the difference is on the back, that yellow part, it's a soft sponge. So it's like two different sponges in one. So I wanted to give it a try with the pink stuff. I've tried the pink stuff on the stove top and before, and I really, really liked it as a cleaner. I think it probably does as one of the best jobs that I've seen on a glass top stove. Um, with any other product. So I highly re recommend the pink stuff if you do have a glass cooktop stove. I do want to try it in my bath and shower, which I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard that using it with a scrub daddy sponge or a scrub mommy sc scrub, it's really hard for me to say, um, it's a really great duo. So I picked this up and I was going to use it to clean the stove top. Find 
So I think one of the things I like most about my voiceovers is I get to chat with you. Like I feel like we're chatting, like cleaning and chatting and I can talk about cleaning, but also just, you know, whatever, whatever is going on in my life. So um, what I want from you guys, just as a way so I can switch things, switch things up and so it doesn't get so repetitive, I want you guys to ask me some questions down below and then I can um, go ahead and answer a couple of those questions questions in the next video. Um, I think sometimes it's kind of like I want to talk about new stuff in my voiceovers so I don't get repetitive and so we can just chat like we're two friends cleaning together but I have no idea what you guys want to hear. Sometimes I feel like my life is pretty boring so you guys can let me know what you want me to talk about or questions you want me to answer and if you see a question or a topic that someone else posts in a comment and you really like that and you want to hear me answer it just make sure you give it a thumbs up so I can focus on the stuff that most people want to hear but I do think it's one of those situations where sometimes we have a hard time finding things that are interesting about ourselves and I think that's kind of where I'm at on here. I'm like I have no idea what you guys want to hear me talk about so let me know some topics or questions you guys want to hear me talk about. So you guys are seeing me clean on a Saturday night and then a Sunday night. I'm also going to show you how I plan out my week to try to stay on top of everything. And it just gets crazy sometimes. I think, um, you know, like the week will come and then the week closes out. And sometimes when you reflect back on the past week and the upcoming week, I don't know if you guys would agree, but sometimes I feel like it's Groundhog Day. You know, it just seems like the days and the weeks seem to be so similar. And I just, I think part of it's because I'm in the trenches of taking care of three small children and the same activities and just trying to keep up with the house and everything that goes on in life. I think sometimes I just feel like it's all so similar and the same. Do you guys know what I'm talking about or do I sound crazy? But then I'll kind of pull myself out of those thoughts and say, well, I mean, I should be grateful for this you know these good days because ultimately they are all good days you know um even though they're repetitive and it's always the same thing i think i just i want to kind of spin it in a more of a positive light that things are the same be because ultimately they're the same because things are going well you know everyone's happy and healthy i think we've all had those situations in life where maybe we lose a loved one someone passes away suddenly or somebody gets sick and you just with the with the switch of um, a phone call or something like in a moment you know life can change and like I try to you know like look back at yeah things are repetitive but ultimately we're good we're happy we're healthy um, everyone seems to be doing pretty good but I don't know I just was kind of randomly having those thoughts as a new week was starting and I'm like looking ahead I'm like man I think the week's gonna be pretty much like the last week and 
yeah, I don't know if you guys have any idea what I'm talking about. So I was wiping down the bulbs over my island just with a microfiber cloth. It was just wet with some warm water and then I went in after that with my e-cloth. I love e-cloths. I said, I've said this before, they do a really good job and I think that this duo worked pretty well. I've cleaned these lights with different actual cleaning products before. But I think that since they are pure glass, it's really, really hard to make for sure they're completely streak free. So I wanted to try out a wet microfiber cloth and then I buffed it out with an e-cloth and the e-cloth was the one that is meant for mirrors and glass. So like I said, I'm going to show you how I sit down and plan out my weeks. And I know that I, I get asked about this a lot, um, like about a cleaning routine or my workout routine, my cleaning routines, and just my routines in general. Um, but they kind of change on a weekly basis. And the one thing that stays constant is my Sunday evenings. Um, I always sit down and I plan out everything, plan out our week. And I know I've shown this before in other videos, but I know some of you guys maybe didn't see those videos or maybe you're new here. Um, but it's just nice to share with you how I sit down and plan out everything and kind of stay on top of things on a weekly basis. But I do have to force myself to sit down before the week starts and gets really crazy. For our weeks, things do change from day to day. Like our weeks are not the same as far as activities or what we have going on. So I force myself on Sunday nights to sit down and plan out my week and make my weekly to-do list, my you know cleaning routine and all of that. So like for example, this night I was cleaning at night because we had a really, like a really good relaxing day. We didn't do much um, this particular day. So I had the en more energy at night than I typically, typically would if I was on my feet all day. Um, or we have some nights where Mike's maybe working a little bit later or like this night, he was home all day, so he was able to get the kids um, bathed and put to bed where I was able to clean. Um, like a night where he's not home or working late, like I may not be able to clean at night. Or if Avery has a softball game, then this whole cleaning at night wouldn't necessarily work. So each night and each week is a little bit different. And I just kind of like personally having my routines I think that like once I get it set in my mind that that's what I'm going to do I always I think the mindset is that's that's how it works is once I get it in my mind that that's how it's gonna go um I usually can execute it pretty well but it's kind of like what I said earlier I'm in it's all about that mindset and it's funny because I've noticed that Avery is really like that too as long as we prepare her for what she has to do like clean her room if I remind her throughout the day and I just don't spring it on her then she usually won't put up as much of a fight um and while I'm doing all of this cleaning, Mike was folding laundry. Um, we just we were just tackling so much together this day. And I always like to show that because I don't show when he does things. And then people just assume that I do it all. And then I think that gives the illusion that I'm running this life alone. And there's no way I could do it. So we were tackling, bathing the kids, putting them to bed, laundry and cleaning all together. I had a 
feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights and heartbreaks. And I feel misplaced without you. Why don't we go back to? Why don't we go back to? Never wanted to end. So going in and talking about my routines and like I said, mindset and scheduling out my week, you know, I think it's really important to do that. I also think it's also good to be a little flexible, which I will admit that is my downfall. I am not a very flexible person when it comes to plans. So I'm that person who when it's in my schedule, it's in my mind and that's how the day is going to go. And if the day doesn't go like I thought it would, I can get flustered. And I guess it's one of those situations where I recognize it. So I guess that's a good thing. And I try to work on it. But sometimes I have to give myself a little pep talk that just because things don't go the way I thought it would doesn't mean that's necessarily a bad thing. But I don't know. I guess I've always been like that. And like it could even be as some something as simple as let's say I was going to work out, but I didn't get a chance because the day got away from me. Sometimes I just feel like my whole day is off or even like I kind of get into my routines of um, or thinking about my routines when I had the twins. So you guys know I love to work out. That's really important to me. Um, and I worked out until I was like 28 weeks, I think with the twins and then I had them at 33 weeks. So I'd obviously stopped working out towards the end because I got too tired. And then I couldn't work out for eight weeks after I had them because I had a C-section. So I had almost got, gone a long time without working out. And when I got the green light to work out, I didn't even want to work out anymore. And I love to be active, but it was because I was in that mode, that routine of not working out. So for me, it's like once I start doing something consistently, like I crave it and I want to do it more, um, whether that's working out or even eating. So I even noticed that with my nighttime snacks, like I always have a nighttime snack. There was one day last week and you guys are going to be like, Jamie, you're like, this is ridiculous. So I'm so used to having my nighttime snack and there was one night for whatever reason, whatever I ate for dinner, like I didn't even want the snack. Like I was not craving it. It's like a sweet snack. I didn't even, I didn't even want it. And I was mad that I didn't want it because I'm so used to eating my nighttime snack. I know that sounds so ridiculous, but I can be such a scheduled person. And I just, I personally need to work on being more flexible. a big mistake I just hope that we're still okay you always pick me up and let me down we're spinning around losing our minds damned if we do damned if we don't damned if we give in what we want and I always pick you up I will share with you my Sunday night planning routine here in a minute and go into a little bit more detail. Hey guys, so I am continuing on and doing some cleaning. Um, cleaning at night, uh, Mike's wrangling the girls up. He's gonna go put them to bed while I get some cleaning done. I'm
Okay, so I get questions about all of the time, like how I plan, how I plan up my week, how I stay on top of things. And I am a planner by heart. Um, and I like to write things down. I do have some things in my phone, but honestly, I like using like a traditional calendar like this. So this planner is from Personal Planner. So Personal Personal Planner, and I like it because you get to completely customize the planner for yourself. Like you may create a planner and it may not look like this at all, but I like having these long columns right here and then it also has like the monthly view. So I just open it up to August. So you also have the monthly view, which I do like because I can come in here and write down appointments. So like if I'm focusing, let's say in this first week of August, like I'm obviously, my eye will catch, you know, like what's going on on August 17th or whatever. Just like I have in the back of my head, like, oh, there's a hair appointment or Avery has a doctor's appointment or whatever it is. Um, but I sit down on Sunday nights and I plan out my week. So I just sit down. I mean, I know it's usually the last thing you wanna do um, on a Sunday night, but it kind of clears my head. And I'm telling you, just spending some time to plan really does prepare you for the week. Like I wake up on Monday morning feeling way more organized um, and ready to tackle the week. So I sit down and I make my daily to-do list every single day. Um, I make a meal plan. I usually will browse recipes here on Pinterest, so that's why I like to do it here in my office. But then it's also nice because I'm not distracted if I'm in the office, so I have my recipes. Um, I save all of my recipes that I we like, that we've tried in my phone, so I always have that to pull from. But I sit down and I make a to-do list and I try to make it reasonable. Like, I don't want my to-do list to be too long or too crazy or ambitious because it's like I still have the kids to take care of and just normal day-to-day -day stuff. So this is like in addition to kids and day-to-day -day stuff. So here's my to-do list and then there's an if time. Um, this is like if things go like they should, this is extra. If I do get done or if I do, if I am able to get stuff done, but if I don't, like it's not the end of the world. Oh, I forgot to highlight, but highlighters make things more fun as well. Um, and then I also sit down and do my meal plan, plan that out. Um, and then I also do my grocery list. Busy with family and stuff like that. And then Sunday night, you can start to shift to the upcoming week. So because I loved the actual pink stuff so much, I bought the pink stuff bathroom foaming cleaner and I wanted to try it out. So tonight I wasn't cleaning the shower. Um, I was just testing it out on the bathroom that's off of our kitchen. Um, this is our half bath. So I just wanted to test it. I do want to test it in our shower because I think that is a true testament of how well a product performs in the shower because you have, you know, the the track went um the shower tracking and doors and soap scum and all of that um but i'll try that out soon but i think it did a really really good job here with the toilet and um, vanity it has a really like barely there light scent and i know that with some cleaners that can leave a film like i have a micro band bathroom cleaner that does a really good job of sanitizing but it does leave a bit of a film i mean it's made for bathrooms now this stuff doesn't sanitize it just cleans and they're different um, but it does not leave a film at all and everything felt really really clean and I've just been um, also kind of crazy about making sure the toilet down here has been clean. So I found this Lysol um, like automatic toilet bowl cleaner. You just kind of like press it on in the toilet bowl and then it kind of cleans with every flush. Just this is the bathroom, number one, that gets used the most frequently by our family because it's off of the kitchen. But then also it's the bathroom that when people come over, they use. And we've just had a lot more traffic with neighborhood kids, you know, like playing outside, coming in to use the bathroom and stuff like that. Like I've just been a little bit crazy about making sure that this bathroom stays as clean as possible.
I know this is crazy um, that I'm cleaning here at night, like outside of where my kids are sleeping. And I also know it looks so light outside, but again, it was at night. Um, but I don't worry about waking my kids up at night if I am ever cleaning up here. Avery has an um, Amazon Alexa, so it plays music at bedtime, or sometimes she'll play like white noise or something. She cannot hear me at all when I'm out here cleaning. She actually also listens to Jojo Siwa, which if you guys know who she is, you know her music, I'm like, Avery, how can you sleep listening to her? but she does. So I'm definitely not worried about her. Now the twins, I would be more concerned, but at night, once they're asleep, they're not waking up. Like it's really great. They're really good. Like they sleep really hard at night. Um, I mean, with the exception of something major happening. Now at nap time, you will not see me cleaning in the hallway or the laundry room. Sometimes I will clean. I mean, I'll clean like in their bathroom. I just have to try to be really quiet or I'll definitely clean in our bedroom and bathroom. But I try not to get near the twins bedroom during nap time because I feel like they sleep so light during nap. So when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down, feel alive When I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me Ooh. So Mike's been going to the gym at night after the girls go to bed Um... Like we both put him to bed and then he goes to the gym. And so I've been slowly cleaning more at night and making cleaning more a part of my nighttime routine. I don't love it, but with him being gone, you know, I've been doing it like once, maybe twice a week. And it's like I said, it's it's hard because I don't always have the energy, um, but I do like it because it's quiet. I'm by myself. There's no distractions and not having my even Mike home. It's just kind of nice to set aside the time at night and then obviously to wake up with a clean house. So I've been trying to do that more frequently. If you guys like seeing me clean at night, let me know down below. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars, I want to drive a faster car, nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars, I want to take a So to wipe down the countertops in the bathroom, I was using my DIY cleaner of one part rubbing alcohol, one part water, and about a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap. I love this DIY all-purpose cleaner. Um, the only place I don't use it is on wood um, because of the alcohol, but it is a really nice cleaner that I like using on my kitchen countertops. I like using it on my bathroom countertops. I've used it on appliances, and I just like switching up cleaning products you know, more often, just makes things a little bit more fun but I will always sing the praises of Jaws cleaning products. I'm really in love with their new multi-purpose spray. I think it's one of those products that the more I use it the more I realize like wow this really is a good product. I think because it is truly a multi-purpose spray. I think sometimes it's hard because you'll find a product that says it's a multi-purpose spray but you can only use it or like it's only good for like one or two places but I think believe that this product i mean it, it works really well on my countertops it works well on appliances so it is a really really good multi-purpose spray Body 
So I think I've said this before, but I wash all of our bedding, well mainly the, the girls' bedding, more frequently in the summer just because they go to bed sweaty sometimes, sweaty, sunscreen, all of that. Um, I know it's not ideal, but it happens. Um, so I wash their bedding more frequently just because I feel like it's dirtier than in the winter. Um, and I also feel like it's the same way for the bathtub. And I know this is so gross, but my kids won't even seem that dirty or maybe they weren't outside for very long, but we will put them in the bath in the summer. And after we wash up and the water drains, I will see like dirt on the bottom of our white bathtub. So I try to clean them and their bedding more frequently and I also find that I need to clean their bathtub more frequently just because it does get dirty. We also do more baths in the summertime than we do the winter. My kids have really sensitive skin, really dry skin, so we try not to bathe them too frequently in the winter um, because of that dry skin, um, but we do it more frequently in the summer. So I think you learn with cleaning, especially if you're busy, that there are just some things you have to let go of and say, yeah, it's not ideal if I don't clean the bathtub every week, but I'm one person or maybe I'm two people running a household with three kids with busy lives. So you just have to learn to let things go. Um, but, I but yeah. I'm not over you. Keep missing a fight. Think I'm losing my mind, but I guess that's what love do. So sometimes when I'm just not feeling it anymore, like at this point, I'm honestly really not that tired. I'm just like, ugh, don't wanna clean. But I do wanna finish what I had planned for tonight. So at this point, I was listening to some podcasts, Crime Junkie, you know, I was listening to an audiobook, but now I just, I need, I need a pick me up. So at this point, I usually go for a snack or I play some old school tunes, like music from my middle school or high school years I have not heard in years. And sometimes you hear some of those songs and it just re it just energizes me. And I just wanna keep moving and I just wanna sing out loud. And I'm telling you, try it out. <laughs> I promise it'll give you a little bit of energy to keep going. I wish I could play for you the song that I was just playing. It was called Breathe by Michelle Branch. I can't play it because then I'll get a copyright claim on this <laughs> video. But if you guys know what song I'm talking about, go ahead, check it out on YouTube and you'll be like, yes, like this is like, brings me back. Like I have no idea when that sh song was popular. I'm gonna guess when I was in high school. I was in high school from 2001 to 2004. I graduated in 04. Um, so I'm gonna guess it was like somewhere in there, but it's really cool because on YouTube it'll play a song from that era and then it'll pull other similar songs. So sometimes that'll come up and then like a Jessica Simpson song will come up and I'm just like loving it. So try that out if you need some so energy I when you're cleaning. So I know you guys don't see my closet very often because usually the closet doesn't get that messy and the only thing I really do on here on a weekly basis is vacuum, but I am planning a closet organization video. I want to try to do it on a budget, um, like it's like no one sees my closet. So I want to try to do it with Dollar Tree products. So I've been messing around with a few things, trying some things out, and I think it's hard with the Dollar Tree because they have some amazing products and some great organizational tools but at the same time some things i have found that i get it works but then 
it is kind of cheap and it doesn't last. And so that's the hard part. It's like finding that balance of like, can I try this? And if it lasts long term, that's wonderful. But then there are times where like, you try it and it doesn't work and then you end up spending more money in the long haul. So hopefully I can do it with Dollar Tree products, but stay tuned for that video. This is what it feels like when your heart is sick and when it bleeds. If it's over, just say it out loud. Say those words, go and just shout it out. Just be honest, be a man right now. Say it's over. If it's over. If it's over, just So I am getting ready to put my clothes away. So I am totally that person that has to put my clothes away right away because I know that if I don't, it's just gonna pile up. So it's like, let's just get it done. Um, Mike on the other hand, that's why I have a basket for him because I used to just set it on his dresser and it would sit there for days and days and days. And it's like one of those situations where it's like, is it the worst thing in the world that he doesn't put his clothes away right away? No, but it bothers me when clothes are sitting out. So now if they are neatly tucked in a basket in the laundry room, I don't have to see it as much. So um, he'll get to it eventually, but I'm gonna go ahead, put mine away and close out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this nighttime clean with me. If you do like these nighttime cleans, clean with me, make sure you let me know in the comment section um and say hi to me anyways i hope you guys have a good day night and i will see you next time bye